My name is Esther Stevens, and I'm the president of the South African Domestic Service and Allied Workers Union. I started to become a domestic worker at the age of 15. And I used to go to school just with the piece of dry bread. There was no butter on that bread. I, and then uh, I can remember one evening uh, I was doing my homework and then I asked my mother the, the afternoon because we, I know that it, it's a tough time, there's no food, my father didn't have the money to buy the proper food for us. Then I asked my mother, what are we going to eat tonight? And then my mother said, I will put a stone in the pot. So as a child, uh, I start working as a domestic worker. And then my, when my son was born, then I said to my father and my mother, I think I need to go somewhere to make more money. So I decided to come to Cape Town. It was difficult for me is to leave my son at the age of one year old with my parents, and then he was still breastfeeding. I remember I was working for the dentist in Newlands and Van Rienen Street. I used to cry, and then I decided that uh, I want to go back because I miss my son. So when I arrived at home after a year, my son didn't recognize me. That was the most horrible time in my life as a mother that your child didn't recognize you because we've been separated. He was on that side and I was here. I went to town from my workplace on a Thursday, and that was 1984. So I went and I was on the parade, and then I saw the police throwing tear gas, and I was in the middle of it. And I can remember how the tear gas was burning my, my eyes, and I couldn't understand why is it that the school children march from Weinberg to time, and now there's a whole commotion there on the parade. So I was standing there and watching them. Then I heard on the radio about uh, Domestic Workers Association in Burke Street in Cape Town. That is where I found Myrtle and Maggie Uvis and them. And then I said to them, I heard that the, the union is here, association is here, is to help domestic workers. So since that time, I become active and where I am today. Yeah, at the present moment, it was hard work from the beginning. If I can recall when I started working here, how they oppressed me. It was heartbroken. There was times that I cry because I'm isolated, I'm alone, and they always watch me when people come in here and they will watch when the people go out. And the way I would, they, they oppress me and let me do things that I'm not supposed to do. I can remember, uh, uh, yeah, while my old bathroom was outside, they had a cement block, and then they used to chop the wood for winter there. Then my boss used to say to me, you must chop the wood. And then I said, no, I'm not a man to chop the wood. You must get your garden to, do, to chop the wood. Then he said to me, I think that you are flipping the wood. I said, no, I'm a woman. I'm not flipping the wood. I just answer you. You know, sometimes the employers don't want you to answer. We used to have big fights, fear, unpleasantness in the way they oppressed me. But it was for me as a worker and also be part of the trade union is to bring them back and bring them down for where they are because to accept me as a woman, to accept me as a, as a human being. 